Hey guys, today I'm out here at Wofford College. It's a place that started it all for me. 2010 is when I first started playing disc golf. And for the first couple years, I played this course with one of my friends, uh, Greg Ackerman, taught with me at Upstate, and my wife, Dawn. Sometimes we come out here at least twice a day and play. Um, but we definitely played just about every day for the first couple years. And I went and dug through and got my old bag and um, I got some of this here. I'll do an in the bag later, but first of all, let's see how I play here at Wofford College Disc Golf Course, nine holes. Starting off with the DX Shark. And these are all old original discs. Shabby old shark. Some serious old school putters here. These are pre-flight number Innova XD putters, the original putters that I used when I first learned on this course. See if they still fly to the basket. So I think I should mention when I first started playing this in 2010, it was a different configuration than it is now. Um, this was originally hole four, now it's hole two, and the basket is up on the hill instead of down a little bit. This one used to eat my lunch. Let's see if this old wraith has got anything left in it. Couldn't get up there. Ooh, it's good stable. Not too bad. Wow, who would have thought that an old beat up DX Wraith wouldn't be stable? So I just remember taking a look at some of these that um, some of the discs during that time frame, of course, they hadn't put on the, uh, the flight numbers yet, but some of them they did. So I actually went in and put them on myself in the back. Let's see if I can get to the basket up the hill on this one. Get this shark going. A little tree love. Maybe not love. That little tree cake left me with a bit of an uphill putt. Let's see if I can get it from here. So this is hole four. This is a new one. This part of campus was not even used in the original disc golf course. Quick uh, inside the bag, you've already met the XDs and the Wraith and the Shark. We've also got this guy, the Wolf, which is a cool little turnover disc. And two lovelies from back in the day um, that were hard for, to throw for me when I first started. The Orion LS um, by Millennium and this one, I love it and miss this disc. An old Champ Valkyrie, my first champion disc ever. Let's see uh, how it flies on this hole. So, you might be asking yourself, why did the course close down for a while? Um, what changed about campus? Well, all of this. The entire Greek village was constructed, so they pulled the baskets out of the ground for a number of years. Can't remember. Good while, though. It's actually uh, so long out of the ground that some of us in the local club approach the college about buying the baskets if they weren't going to use them maybe we could put them to good use but they kept saying no 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 of course it's coming back it did this is hole five there's through these trees over top of the hill and then there's a v tree way down there in the distance about where the basket's at we'll try this uh Valkyrie again see what i can do with it side note this is really grippy feeling kind of got that old tackiness
know the hole that was originally here. I gotta say, this course was and still is really good for beginners. Well, I picked like the absolute worst time to come film at Wofford College because it's landscaping time. And also um, it was just invaded by a bunch of college kids. Maybe there's a class, I don't know. But for me, it all started here with this little nine hole Dinker College course that still has the original baskets, although in different positions, Wofford College. <laughs>